Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Anjali, can we start? Uh, Malin, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. With your permission. Yeah. Students, please start. Greetings to all. A famous mathematician once said, Mathematics is the most beautiful and most powerful creation of the human spirit. Mathematics is such a multidimensional subject which shows us that problems have solutions. To celebrate the spirit of mathematical learning, and to experience the joy of the mathematical sphere, I welcome you all to Maths Day celebrations of classes five and six, day two, numero ecstasy. I request Principal Ma'am to kindly address us with her inspirational words. Good afternoon, my dear children, wonderful teachers, parents, and our hearty audience on Zoom and YouTube. Our lovely children are ready with another day of math. Stay with the birth anniversary of the great Indian Ivasa Ramanujan. His contribution in mathematics and theory of numbers have been outstanding. Today on day two, the students of classes five and six will present before you numero ecstasy, where in children will share with you their elation and jubilation with numbers. I congratulate the students for their efforts and their progress in learning. I commend the parents who have become true compliments to the school in the progression curve of the children and are always supporting them in all their endeavors. The faculty members deserve praise as they raise a bar each time and help the children excel and achieve. I am sure the performance today, which seeks to enhance the learning curves of the children. My dear children, develop a passion for learning. If you do, you will never cease to grow. All the best and continue your mission to learn and grow. Thank you very much. All the best, my dear children. Thank you, ma'am, for your words of wisdom. National Mathematics Day is celebrated on 22nd December every year to commemorate the birth anniversary of the famous mathematician, Srinivas Ramanujan. Come, let's meet the great man and hear about his life. Hello everyone, I am Srinivas Ramanujan. I was born on 22nd December 1887 in Erod, Tamil Nadu. From my childhood, I had a passion for mathematics. My discoveries have influenced several areas of mathematics. But you will be surprised to know that I never had any formal training in maths. I am humbled that the whole nation celebrates my birthday as the National Mathematics Day. Dear children, always remember, mathematics is just not a subject. It is the part of your life. The more you practice it, the more it increases your mental ability. Friends, let's explore why maths is so important in our lives. Oh, I don't like maths. The world is facing so many problems already and this scary maths is just adding on to it. <laughs> maths is a fun subject, my dear. Understand it and you will start enjoying it. Fun? It's so boring. I don't see any use of this in my life. I don't want to study it. Relax. It's bedtime now. 
We will talk about it in the morning. So you better sleep now. Good night. I don't like maths. I don't want to study it. I don't like maths. I don't want to study it. Hello, my dear friend. Why do you look so upset? Are you worried about something? Who are you? And what are you doing here? I am Math Genie. Don't worry, my dear friend. I am here to solve all your problems. Forget about your worries. And let me take you to the world of mathematics. Genie, are you from some other world? I'm not going anywhere with a stranger. My parents have always warned me against them. Okay, let's stay here only. Just close your eyes and get ready to witness the magic. Hey, wait. Let me call my friends also. They also don't like maths. The other two children join him and they reach a beautiful garden. Oh, where have you brought us, Jenny? It is such a beautiful garden. Just put on your mathematical lens and enjoy your walk through the garden. Welcome, Mr. Jenny, and all your lovely kids to my garden. Hello, I am Fibonacci, known as Leonardo of Pisa. I introduced Hindu Arabic numerals to the European world, <laughs> or else most of the world would have been still using Roman numerals. These are Fibonacci numbers. I studied these numbers about 800 years ago in Italy. I talked about these numerals in my book, Liber Abeti. You know what I actually observed? A family of bunnies. And observe this pattern there. Can you guess the pattern here? You can clearly observe the next number is the sum of the previous two number. And it can go on and on forever. And Mother Nature just loves my invention so much. Let's talk about the fruits that you eat. There is a famous English proverb. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. So to eat an apple, if you cut it, you will see it has a Fibonacci number. That is 5 over there. Now look at these plants we got in this garden. Most of them have 3, 5, 8, 13 and 21 petals which are all Fibonacci number. Don't believe me? Check it yourself. Not just this, the rose seeds in sunflower, pine cone always add up to the Fibonacci number. They are doing it because it is the best way to pack the maximum number of seeds. Amazing, isn't it? You know what? You can even draw a picture of the sequence. Draw squares of sides one by one, then one by one, then two by two, then three by three, then five by five, then eight by eight, and go on. You will get a rectangle, which is called the golden rectangle. And when you draw an arc that passes through the corners of one square to the another, you will get a spiral, which is called the golden spiral. And Mother Nature just loves my invention so much that you can see this spiral everywhere, like here in sunflower, pine cone, and even in the shells of the snail. Oh, look! Where have we reached? Let me tell you about my other major studies with Fibonacci number. If, if you divide any number of the sequence with previous number, the question will become equal to 
618 as we proceed further this number is called the golden ratio and is to be believed the perfect ratio the golden ratio actually beautifies and add aesthetics to it the examples of ancient architecture tell us that how relevant is the concept of golden ratio the this number is profoundly and purposeful and could be seen everywhere like here in our body see kids nature itself has given birth to mathematics time to go now bye bye oh my god jini this is so fascinating i agree nature is a correlate to mathematics but what is the need to study it i don't have to recreate nature the three children along with jini reached a tribal area and see some fascinating jewelry there mathematics plays an integral role in every sphere of our lives our rich tribal heritage is also a part of this our favorite mathematics can be seen even in those beautiful and artistic pieces of their jewelry the mathematical trail of tribal jewelry covering me from head to toe has a variety of material as i was crafting these pieces i could see so many mathematical concepts from my maths class coming alive the various polygons and 3d shapes in the jewelry are aligned to each other at different angles my crown is made with same circle curved lines and different patterns which make me more royal the usage of metric system can be seen right from the lens of the cylindrical pieces of my crown to the perimeter of polygons along whose boundary these spheres having curved surfaces have been placed oh don't miss this curly and square brackets due to find my neck piece full of mathematical symbols the different beads explain the concept of fractions my kamar band is made of square pieces each of size 1 cm and area 1 square cm these are isolated with each other and create a symmetrical chain in fact all the pieces are in an epitome of symmetry the cones on my bangles are used for hunting and protecting ourselves from wild animals mathematics which surrounds us is is the root of creativity and innovation enriching our lives in infinite ways so much mathematics even here is there any place where i can run away from mathematics oh 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 but you all are enjoying this journey hey friend when is your birthday Genie, my birthday is on twenty sixth May two thousand ten. No, no, I want to know the day on which you were born, not the date. <laughs> How funny, Genie! How would I know the day on which I was born? I only know the date. Don't worry, when your friend Genie is here, I will take you. to kolachi hansraj modern school where children learn many mathematical tricks you will really find it amusing hello everyone i will explain you a wonderful trick where you will find the day on which you were born from your date of birth does it sound interesting so let's begin by using some codes that can be seen at my back you can easily calculate the day on which you were born from your date of birth you just have to remember some century codes some month codes and some day codes let's take 26 may 2010 as an example first we will check the date that is 26 
Then we will go to the month codes and the month code for May is 1. We will add them. After that, we will take the last two digits of the year that is 10. After that, we will do last two digits of the year upon 4. That will be 10 upon 4. Now, we will go to the century codes. And the century code for 2000 to 2099 is 6. We will add them and the number that will appear in front of us will be 45. We will divide 45 by 7 and the remainder will be 3. Then we will go to the day codes and the day code for 3 is Wednesday. So on 26 May 2010, the day was Wednesday. Mathematics has always haunted me. But I never imagined that maths is present beyond books also. It is everywhere around me. But we all are feeling very hungry now. Let's go somewhere and eat. Jo hukum mere aka? But we don't need to go anywhere. I will bring the whole kitchen here. But who is going to cook for us? Here are your chefs who are going to cook Maggie for you. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I will make delicious Maggie for you. I will add two cups of water into this one packet of Maggie. You don't even know how to make Maggie. I have two packets of Maggie and let me see how much water is to be added. Use one packet of he adds a whole bottle of water in the Maggie. Is the food ready? I cannot serve this Maggie. It is too watery. Oh my god! Even my Maggie seems uncooked. Oh, look here, there is only water in my Maggie. What kind of chefs are you? It's so delicious. Friends, I hope you are enjoying this mathematical journey with our friends and genie. I believe that mathematics is not only for solving numbers. It is also for dividing sorrows, subtracting sadness, adding happiness and multiplying love and forgiveness. With this thought, let's follow Genie and see what is our next destination. Hey kids, I am planning to take you to a final destination now. A mathematics carnival. What? A mathematics carnival? Hey kids, welcome to the mathematical carnival. This is your musty time. Aao karo thoda jadu, thoda fun. Hello friends. Do you know how to solve this under a minute? Okay. I'll tell you how you can solve
I've done it. I've finished it in 30 seconds. You also must try it. Oh, wow, Jiggy. I like this magic. Maths can make me a magician too. Never ever imagined that. Yes, my dear kids. You can also learn to solve it. Practice can make you better and faster. Such as 5 by 5 square grid has 55 squares and 6 by 6 square grid has 91 squares. Isn't it amazing and interesting? Without mathematics, there's nothing you can do. Everything around you is mathematics. Everything around you is numbers. Hello, Jimmy and my dear friends. Do you know me? I was known as Human Computer. Yes, I am Shakuntala Devi. I could do difficult and long calculations within seconds. Oh wow! Can you multiply any four digit number with the greatest four digit number? Yes! So let me take an example. Here is my multiplication trick. 7529 into 9999. The answer is 7528-2471. Now let me tell you that how I got my answer. At first, the decisor of 7529, that is 7528. And then we will subtract 7 from 9, that is 2. Now we will subtract 5 from 9, that is 4. Then we will subtract 2 from 9, that is 7. And lastly, we will subtract 8 from 9, 
that is 1. Now the answer is 7, 5, 2, 8, 2, 4, 7, 1. Don't forget this trick is applicable only in two conditions. First, when both numbers to be multiplied have same number of digits. And second, if one of the number have only nines. I am definitely going to show this fun trick to my parents. I am sure they will be surprised to see my magic. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's get ready for our next segment. You marrow ecstasy, rid rid riddles. In this super fun segment, brain teasers and numbers come together to give your brains a workout. So let's put the hats on and let's get going. But only three seconds. Solve each riddle. Teachers, 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 Hmm. Seven months have 31 days. How many months have 28 days? 3, 2, 1. And the correct answer is... Oh, if your answer is 1 month, then it is a long month. Because all months have at least 28 days. Next, numero riddle. When Lisa was six years old, her sister Lucy was half her age. Now, Lisa is 40 years old. How old is Lucy? 3, 2, 1 and the correct answer is... Yes! 37 is the correct answer because half of six is three years. So, the age difference between the two sisters is three years. And if we subtract 3 from 40, the answer will be 37. I hope everybody is ready for numero riddle 4. You are a cyclist in cross country race. Just before crossing the finish line, you overtake the person in the second place. In what place do you finish? Three, two, one, and the correct answer is second place. Let's get up for our last question of this segment. You marry five. I am adding five to nine and getting two. How is it possible? 3, 2, 1 and the correct answer is If I add 5 hours to 9 am, I will get 2 pm. Hmm. Perfect score, little mathematician. You've truly impressed me. Here's your prize. That was some phenomenal work with numbers. Math is so fun. I hope you enjoyed learning in this segment as much as I did. It truly was numero ecstasy. Oh, enough of maths, Jeannie. You brought us to a carnival and there is no music and dance. What is the fun then? If that is so, let the fun begin.
art to every science. And a science to every art. Dance is created by defining space and time. Each posture is a geometric definition of space. Each movement is a calculated definition of time. Together, we create a beautiful, exhilarating expression of mathematics. The mathematics of dance.
crore is the estimated revenue from domestic and overseas theatricals. In year 2018, Indian movies had a worldwide collection of rupees 7,014.99 crore, in which Bollywood had a share of rupees 3,824.66 crore. Oh, I can see large numbers dancing all around the Bollywood. The industry saw a phenomenal growth of 27% in the year of 2017. Oh, did you hear that word percentage? Yes, percentages are widely used in Indian cinema to make comparisons. Various statistical tools like line bar, bar graphs and pie charts are also used to compare performances of different movies. So be a part of that collection. Profits, GDPs and taxes. Maths is everywhere. Numbers are everywhere. You can even find numbers in titles of movies like Super 30, 1 billion, 8 Tha Tiger and the list goes on. Do you know some great mathematicians inspired filmmakers to make movies on them like Shakuntala Devi, Infinity Man and many more. Songs like 1, 2, 3, 4, get on the dance floor, 1, 2, ka 4, 4, 2, ka 1 are some of the popular Hindi songs having numbers in the lyrics and titles. Adding numbers to the song makes them more exciting and fun. Such is the role of mathematics in Indian cinema that it can be seen everywhere from the scratch to the building of empire. Ayla, Bollywood will be mad? It's magic, it's magic, it's magic, Jeannie. Wow, we are loving this trip, Jeannie. I'm feeling very tired now. Let's go home. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm totally enthralled by this mathematical journey. Now I can say I love maths and would never run away from this.
we hope you enjoyed this mathematical journey with us i'm sure you all understand the relevance of this subject in our lives we should appreciate its presence outside the books and beyond the class let's love it because it is omnipresent so friends understand the real meaning of maths m is for making a is for awesome t is for things and h is for happen let's make awesome things happen on behalf of all the students of classes 5 and 6 Thanks our mentors for giving us this opportunity to showcase our talent. A special thank you to parents and teachers for helping us in preparing and performing the acts. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Amishi. That was truly wonderful. And uh, uh, ma'am, with your presence, we have a parent, Mrs. Veena Malhotra, and she's requesting permission to speak for today for a few minutes. Ma'am, seeking your permission. Uh, may I request principal, ma'am? Okay. Uh, I think there is some connectivity issue. So, Mrs. Veena Malhotra, you're most welcome. Please. Good afternoon to the respected principal ma'am teachers and my dear students the performance was very good you all did a great job you must all aware about our national mathematics day and this math day is telling how numbers are important in our day to day lives yeah so numbers are everywhere children have you ever seen your mother cooking when she is in kitchen she takes an appropriate amount of measurements of each thing so that the food is so delicious i would like to appreciate the maths teacher mrs shrishti khurana ma'am she is very professional in her approach and the way she interact during online classes and make everyone eager to learn is commendable we are so grateful to have you as our child teacher kehms family where teachers are so hard working creative and innovative my son really enjoy and happily learn the innovative content sent by you all thank you very much teachers for all the hard working that you are doing for our kids thank you so much ma'am thank you ma'am thank you your words of uh, appreciation are well accepted and thank you we continue with your motivation and support uh, i take this opportunity to thank our mentors principal ma'am without whom all this would not have been possible it is her guidance and her support and her encouragement which keeps making us go further and further our headmistress ma'am for her encouragement for her guidance and support at every step whenever we flounder it's her advice that we seek and we always receive such sagacious counsel from her i must say a big thank you to the parents who are supporting this online classroom teaching phase of school right now and dear children words defeat me in appreciating you for your wonderful performances every time every time we feel okay this is just super but you come up with one more beautiful performance and that's really good thank you so much children for all your learning efforts i'm sure you're also benefiting a lot and i cannot but say a huge round of applause for our team it's the team that performs so together we can and together we will once again i thank principal ma'am for this wonderful opportunity and thank you lovely audience for supporting us for encouraging us and for making us sure that we go one step further every time thank you to all good day and take care till then stay safe till we are back with another day for mathematics week please stay safe thank you <laughs>